In iOS 14, SwiftUI has a new property wrapper called Scene Storage. This lets you save away small amounts of data attached to individual scenes inside your user interface. It works a bit like app storage, except rather than writing to user defaults, this is used for state restoration, which is amazingly important for those complex multi-window iPadOS environments that are increasingly common today. Let's try it out here. I'm gonna make it my content view a new property using at scene storage. I'll give it a name for a key to be serialized out with. I'll use saved. I'll do var text equals an empty string. That's a value I wanna work with that'll be read and written to the scene restoration API. Then my body, I'll make a navigation view. I'll place a text editor inside there with the text bound to my text state. And because we're on an iPad here, I'm gonna to attach this, the navigation view style of stack navigation view style, just to make it easier to work with. That'll make the whole screen one single text editor. Let's press Command R and give it a try. That's all the code we need. So it's loaded my simple text editor. I can go ahead and press into here and start typing. I'll do hello world. But this is an iPad, so I can go down to the dock up here, swipe upwards and bring in another copy of my application down to the side over here. All right, and this one, goodbye world. And that's it, it'll save my stuff for me. I can go away, run other apps, come back later on, in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and kill the app from Xcode and then relaunch it to simulate the user coming back later on. And you'll see both sides of my application come back correctly. Both scenes have their own unique storage and remember that over time.